Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Sign series. Uh, this is for Venus in Libra. So if in your birth chart Venus is in Libra, this is for you. Um, also this applies if you have Libra as the seventh house. Now, if you don't know how to find those placements, I made a video about that. You can check it out in the description box below. Remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully they do bring some clarity to you. Um, all right, so we have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the Seven of Pentacles. We also have the Tower, the Wheel of Fortune, and we have the Druid or the Hierophant, the Two of Wands, Page of Shields, Ten of Shields, and the Three of Wands. Okay, so I'm feeling like there is something that sh changed or shifted um, unexpected, unexpectedly in your life that made you have to um, restructure or um, reprioritize your things. Like you had to take some sort of assessment um, Take, take some sort of assessment of your current situation, take an assessment of your finances especially. Um, I feel like something is being reconfigured. I feel too that some of you are stepping into a high position where you're going to start bringing in um, a large income. I almost said massive income. I don't want to get you too excited though. But... Um, I do feel like there's going to be an increase in your finances um, due to either a raise or if you are an entrepreneur, like something, I don't know, I just kind of feel like something changes or shifts where you are now making uh, more money. I feel too like an investment pays off. So if you had invested into, you know, something whatever you invested into is, is a payoff. Uh, even if you invested your time and energy into a person or relationship, I just feel like this is a payoff. Um, something is happening, what you've been waiting for. Like I feel like you're getting what whatever you've been wanting here. Something happens to inspire you for the future. I feel like you are able to visualize the future uh, I'm also getting, for some of you, this is about someone who is ready. They're saying that they're ready for commitment. Maybe you are now establishing a title with someone or like, you know, your relationship is being established. Uh, especially too, if maybe you have been dating and now you and this one person, if it wasn't serious before, now all of a sudden it, things shift or changed. And someone has been thinking a, a lot about the connection and the relationship. And they're like, you know what? I, I think I'm ready for a commitment with you. So I feel like you're planning a future with someone. Maybe you have made something official by updating your status. Um, or maybe it's not normal for you to share pictures of your significant other on social media but now you want to you want to make it known or this is happening to you it could go the other way around so i feel like something is being made official um i also feel like something's going public now business wise if you had a private company you might decide to make your your company public and in turn you get some sort of nice income from that a nice return um, I also feel like somebody may be purchasing property it's coming off as commercial property but maybe it's a condo maybe it's a condo because it seems either like really big or like a shared property property so it's like a combination of homes attached where there are shared walls or 
Um, maybe you purchase something in a gated community or maybe you um, you purchased a business where it's like several business detached. So um, like a little mini mall or something. Um, or maybe you're renting your place and you're getting some sort of return income. Maybe you stepped into uh, that position like you're being recognized for being a, a real estate agent. I, I feel like there is something in regards to recognition. I also feel like there are secrets coming out or something is being revealed or exposed. Um, I do feel like between you and another person, there are, there's an attraction, like maybe you guys are attracted to one another because you're both business minded or because you have similar ideas and beliefs, or maybe it's your spiritual background that brings you together. Hmm. I do feel like there is an idea being birthed or established. You also could maybe be doing like adopting or extending your family. I'm getting extension for some of you. Uh, let me kind of look at the tower really quickly. Something might happen um, like out of the blue or like during Taurus season could be very significant or something gets revealed during a holiday. Something something takes place like even like Easter Sunday or something. Something happens to give you hope and faith. Like you're really being optimistic about something. If you have money to expand your home, oh, I was just going to say that. Well, I was, it, it's clarified here, the Tower by the Ten of Cups. Somebody may have just found out that they're expecting or maybe there's, uh, they're, you're extending your home. So having someone, um, if it's not a child coming into your home, maybe you're moving in together or, um, yeah, like moving in together and becoming like one big happy family. Or maybe you're having to take a family member in. Uh, but I'm seeing something in regard that's unex unexpected in regards to family, changes to the family, changes to the household, changes to the uh, income. You might be receiving a family inheritance. So something gets inherited, like you, you inherit like a family gift, a family heirloom, a family business. Or a home even. You could be dealing with any sign. Like basically most of the energies are coming out for air. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, so it could be any sign. And I also feel like this is about someone expressing how they feel about the other. Someone might be getting married unexpectedly. So this is like the merging or marriage of two families. And I just saw the hangman was in reverse. People are going to be surprised at the outcome of something. Somebody's public image is changing, but I feel like it's positive.
I feel like there's going to be a compromise in a situation. If there's any type of... I see something like a distraction. Something is being a distraction. So I feel like politically, if there is any type of distraction, make sure that you look for whatever they're not talking about. Because there's something that may also be trying to like the government is trying to cover something up but it is i feel like it's going to come out anyway but they're going to try and deflect your attention away for something that's like some sort of political side note i feel or media side note something in regards to the media may be happening that's very significant this month maybe it's something having to do with um the currency um something in regards to the presidency or um, the House of Representatives, there there could be something coming out and they're going to try and deflect your situation, uh, your attention away from that situation. Um, now, also going back to a love situation, um, like I was saying, I feel like there's going to be some sort of compromise where something starts off as frustration, arguments or disagreements, and then you guys are finding some sort of uh, resolution, um, some sort of, you know, you're, here's the equilibrium. So you found balance in a turbulent situation. Um, if you are single, I would still be wary about whoever you are connecting to. Like if you're single and then you meet someone new. I feel like it's more so about someone's public image though. There are some sort of secrets. I do see secrets here. Maybe someone has a secret child or they haven't told you about a child or someone hasn't told you about a family or a family member or something about their family. Maybe it goes against your traditions like for instance, maybe let's just say this is an interracial relationship um, and this person has not been wanting you to meet their family and they finally tell you, OK, my family is racist, even and that can go for black people, too. You know, <laughs> some people say black people can't be racist. <laughs> they kind of can. <laughs> but it could be a situation where it's just like the family is against the person that you're connecting with or marrying. And they didn't want to tell you that and they've been keeping that as a secret. So even though you guys get along peacefully and it's all love, you know, you might find out that their family is a little racist. Maybe you find out that their family belonged to the, uh, was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. I don't know, just something very odd where like two opposing energies are coming together um, and, you know, it's just like so unusual, something very unusual. Um, I also feel like maybe someone has a secret gift that they haven't shared with most people. Or maybe someone is just now kind of making it public about their spiritual beliefs or spiritual practices, you know, especially if you come from a very traditional background or your family is very religious or very strict, no matter what religion, it's just that they're strict about it, about the heritage and the beliefs. And then you come out like, hey, look, I practice sorcery or, you know, I've taken up the religion of, of, um, Hindus like I, I I believe in that you know so whatever the case it's like someone has been withholding some sort of secret from the family um, about the spiritual beliefs or practices or the person that you're with now I also feel like for some of you you're with someone who pushes your buttons you're with someone who knows how to to push you and sometimes this person irritates you but it's for the better is for the best. This person gets you out of your comfort zone and they're a reflection of you some type of way. And you are a reflection for them. Like maybe you guys do this to one another. 
you guys um, help each other to realize your full potential. The things that you've kept um, buried, the things that you kept suppressed. Like I feel like you're connecting with someone who awakens that. Something has been lying dormant within you. Maybe you didn't realize that you were psychic or intuitive. And by you connecting with this person, all of a sudden they activated that gift that you had within. All of a su sudden you're clairvoyant or clairaudient. Or suddenly you become um, like a tarot reader or a psychic. Or they somehow boost your career. So it also could be like this person changed your luck. Or it feels like someone is a lucky charm. I also see something about being with, um, being able to bridge the gap. Someone may have the gift of bringing people together, bringing peace between two opposing parties. Um, I don't know why, again, something political kind of stands out. I don't know if there's someone who kind of comes out of the blue who's not currently a well-known candidate. All of a sudden is thrusted into the spotlight and this person seems to have what it takes to bridge the gap between different parties. I also feel like something is someone's best kept secret. Like someone brings out the, the big guns. Um, in a situation and I don't know what that situation would be for but it's like someone has to bring out the big guns in order to get ahead Some of you could be dealing with a person that has fallen off the wagon and back to their old ways. I almost feel like someone straightened up. Um, so maybe someone got healthy and started eating junk food again. Maybe someone was vegan and they're like, look, I want some meat. And they start eating meat again. Um, or someone who... Someone who tried to get off their medication to suppress their, their, I don't know, mental demons. So if you're taking something for depression, it's just like, I don't want to take medicine anymore. And someone just stopped taking their medicine and the demons came back out. Um, maybe someone was supposed to be faithful. And all of a sudden, this person... They're back to cheating. They did something, you know, that maybe they, they were facing temptation. Um, someone who was in AA and they took a drink and now they're off the wagon again. So something happens where I feel like someone fell off the wagon, basically. Um... I'm also feeling like someone is needs to pay attention to what they're involved in career wise. Like there could be something going on at the place of work, like where there are secrets or you joined some sort of secret society, but now is being exposed of what you've actually gotten into. Maybe you didn't quite understand or you thought you understood, but once you're fully invested into something, you're like, what did I get myself into? Hmm. Someone gave up a lot. Someone let go of some sort of burden or baggage. What is this? Let me see what this is before I, I go here. I'm trying to see which way this is going. I'm seeing here that someone may, 
may have gone back to a codependent relationship. So they left something that was healthy and secure and positive and went back, ends up going back to this, this toxic situation. Like someone was lured. It's like, how did you get brainwashed to going back? Like, I don't know, maybe someone did some use some sort of dark work or maybe someone came back into the picture and tried to manipulate them or um, where someone now feels obligated to return back to this dark place. Um, maybe someone has to deal with a, a family member, like someone is being manipulated by a family member or an ex, especially if you share a child together. It's like that's always their excuse to get you back in back back around you know someone is trying to do things to keep you to to keep you or, or make you stay um hmm let me see what this is before i go now i do i did say early i do feel like someone is like a reflection of your fears so it could also be like a relationship starts off really good and then you see something else happens something else comes out of it but what it might be is that this person is still making you become aware of your demons so make sure you're not finger pointing because this person might be showing you that you still need to heal um or that you still have uh, codependency issues or you're staying in a situation out of fear this is a fear-based uh, relationship for some of you it that can apply to the job too like you're holding on to a job out of fear of being poor so you're doing things at any expense like you're giving up you know you're working yourself tired till you're worn out maybe you're doing things or supporting something that you don't really believe in but you need the money there's a need for you to protect yourself from this energy so if you feel that you now are in a supportive place, you're in a supportive job or in a supportive relationship and you get some sort of offer that seems too good to be true, it probably is. So you need to just guard yourself against it and stop, ignore it. Don't feed into that energy. Um, delete that person, block that person. Um, I'm seeing, yeah, I'm seeing like someone being tempted by someone from the past. And this person has not changed. So um, I feel like it's more so. I don't feel like someone's leaving you or you're leaving someone. I feel like someone from the past who hasn't changed, who hasn't changed, shows back up. And you need to block them, delete them, or don't feed into them. Don't feed into their energy. Because they're just trying to seduce you into coming back. Yeah, I feel like you don't listen to them. You're being protected, though. I feel like regardless, you're, you're being protected. Someone is jealous of your newfound happiness or your newfound home, especially if they're an ex. They're looking at what you have now, and they're jealous, um, and they want to destroy that. So I, need, I feel like you need to protect yourself from dark forces. Dark forces don't want you to be happy. So prepare and stay protected from any type of uh, low vibrational energy or some sort of spiritual attack. All right, so that is all that I have for Venus in Libra. Hope that makes sense. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.